Hi everyone, good morning and happy Wednesday. This is Laura. Hello, um, I am bringing you two projects here that I finished. Um, went to AC more over the weekend and did a little shopping and I was able to find some more of these wooden crosses which I have not been able to find for quite some time. Um, so I decided to make some for some friends that are um, going to be giving away as gifts and I sure hope that they like them and you know the cross thing was kind of funny with me but I think I know these girls well enough that I wouldn't um, I don't think they would take any offense to it and I don't think they would have an issue with a cross I don't mean anything except for love um, to give them with you know all the most love in my heart so I think they know that so in any case I um this particular one I painted with Caribbean blue and this is an apple barrel acrylic paint and I am so in love with this color I love it love it love it love it can you guys see that color it's like one of my new favorite summer colors I might just be splashing this on every single thing I touch from here to the guys I just love color period I mean I love purple I love teal I love pink I love everybody always asks me what's my favorite colors and I honest to God don't have a favorite color because every time I look at color I'm in love with color all over again and it's just even yellow and I had a really hard time liking yellow all these years but even yellow is starting the warmer yellows are starting to grow on me I would say the only problem I've ever had with any particular color was yellow. Wasn't so crazy about yellow, but now I'm even starting to like the warm yellows. Yeah, I don't think I'll make a yellow project, but um, I just love color. So, real quick, I um, painted the whole cross. I sanded down all the edges that were rough. And then along the outside here, I added some mesh bling. Now, I um, made some of these courses before, and I was asked by one of my um, subbies that how was it that I attached all these things on here. And, well, I, I do two things. Um, the first thing is I go to Michael's, and when these um, big floral sprays are on sale, I will take them and I will buy them. And then I will rip them to shreds. Yes, I will. I will take them apart. This was a big fluffy um, spray at one point. I will take them apart. And then what I'll do is I'll start adding my metal embellishments um, to this. And I can do that. Um, also, what I can do is just take it apart. And thanks to Sharon, who sort of led one here on YouTube. Hi, Sharon, <laughs> my sweetie pie. She um, was the one that taught me about floral tape. So I went and purchased some floral tape. And now I can actually take these apart and add stuff to them and then wrap them back up again. Or I can go outside and gather some twigs, which I have done off the ground, and then add all these little um, sprays and treatments myself and again with that floral tape I can bind it and the great thing about these twigs is if I um, if I pick them up when they're not too dry they will give a lot you know I can bend them and this one kind of dried out I have plenty of them guys <laughs> I go outside and I collect tons of these um, twigs so that's what I use um, so here, I took some um, Wallocket flowers and some fabric flowers I had in my stash, and I just hot glued, on, hot glued them on here. Um, again, I don't know if you can see that, but I used one of these floral plate spray pieces, and I stuck some of those um, metal crystals that I have in my collection in my stash. Um, these are just regular um, beads that we make charms out of and I just stick them onto the sprays. I have this little um, heart on a wing bead spacer that I just decided to glue there. I have a pretty pretty cameo on um, some metal um, frames 
that I have glued on there. And this little heart cameo, I mean, this little heart charm is actually hollowed out. And what I did was I added some glue and I dropped some seed beads in there just to give it a little prettiness and texture. Um, I have a fabric flower here and another um, spray with some aqua colored beads some turquoise beads that I put in there another floral spray here and another beautiful little flower with some more sprays and some more crystals I have one of my little um, butterfly spacer beads here um, and again some more of those crystals from my stash and I added here I don't know if you can see that I added this little blue acrylic um, flower that was supposed to be uh, for spacer beads but instead I used it as a floral here and then I just added a white little pearl I just hot glued it on the inside and I thought that came out really cute um, and this um, over here is just one of my uh, spacer beads also it's a little heart with some blue flowers on it and again some more wild orchids craft flowers here some more flowers and here I have another bead and this is more like a big I just love this color it's a big flower and I just added that on um, here with some more crystals. And then over here on the bottom, I don't know if you can see this treatment. This is actually a metal spray that I actually made using wires, bead caps, spacer beads, and crystals. And um, I made that for this person. Um, for one of my friends and over here I put a little cherub and he's just so cute look at him and guys why are cherubs always called he's I don't even know that he is a he why are we why don't we ever call cherubs cheese cheese I just realized I am always saying he <laughs> maybe it is a she and I have another little blue acrylic flower there and um, my wild orchid flowers there and this is a flower that I just got in the party store these two this is my wild orchid floral so that's that one and of course the back is just painted blue as well and this person can either add a ribbon to here or just um, hang it up with a nail or just lean it and I left it like that on purpose just to give this person the decision of what they want to do with their little um, gift and then over here, I um, also did the same treatment. I had some bling. Oh, and this one I colored with this paint, which I just got. Um, this is called, what is this called again? What color is this? Glycine. Glycine, which is like a lavender. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's called Wisteria. Why did I see Glycine for? I don't know what that is. It's called Wisteria and it's by Americana. So again, I have some uh, florals, flower, paper flowers from Wild Orchids. I am Roses and I have a little Sweetheart Blossom here, which I love, love, love the Sweetheart Blossoms. Again, some more of those florals that I took apart and I added some flowers. I added some bling. I added some pearls. I have a little cameo here that I also hot glued on. I have some more little daisies and some recreative flowers. And over here in the center of these flowers, I added some little heart beads. And this is one of my wild orchid flowers, which I added some sprays to. Again, some more of those pearls, some more bling, some more of those little spacer beads inside the flowers. I don't know if you can see this one. It's actually a little purple heart. My camera is so bad with focusing, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I also have a little acrylic flower here and a little charm and some more sprays and more sprays and flowers. And over here, I have some more sprays and flowers. I have this big, 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 pretty glass bubble here. And I added some more of those um, heart spacers, some more baubles, some more flowers, and I added this um, butterfly here. And I also hot glued a flat back pearl onto the um, acrylic, acrylic bling. So that is, and on this one, I also um, colored it in on the back. 
So those are my two projects. And I have a few more things to share with you guys. So I hope you don't get too sick of me today. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.